Another day in America and another mass shooting. This time at a Dallas outlet mall in Texas. Those lucky enough not to be shot while shopping are escorted from the scene with their hands held high. The whole country feels like it's hostage to gun crime lately. This latest deadly crime may be new, but it's similar to the ones we hear about all too often. My mom and I were in Johnson & Murphy shopping and out of nowhere heard about like 10 pops go off. And I look at the customer next to me, I was, I was like, was that gunshots? And he's like, no, it's probably just construction or something. And then like heard 10, 15 more shots go off. Uh, and so I ran to the front of the store and we're like, no, that's shooting. And we see the guy, there's this guy dressed in all black, wearing a vest, has an assault rifle, and he's just shooting at people. More tragic details will emerge in the coming days about the victims, children included, and the gunman who died at the scene, shot by a police officer who was there for another reason. He probably saved many lives, but too late for those already gunned down and those wounded. We will never know how many lives were saved by the swift actions of our first responders. What we do know is that we owe a debt of gratitude to first responders that ran toward the gunfire and acted swiftly to neutralize the threat. The now usual thoughts and prayers to victims were offered by Texas politicians and national leaders. According to gun crime monitoring groups, this was the 199th mass shooting event in the US just this year. There have been more mass shootings in 2023 than there have been days. Here at the White House, flags once again at half staff honoring the victims of Allen, Texas. But frankly, these flags remain lowered most of the time these days. US President Biden expressing his shock at yet another mass shooting and calling once again for a ban on assault weapons and other measures that he knows are politically impossible. Here in the United States, guns are now the leading killer of children. Not traffic accidents, not disease, guns. And while we don't know where or exactly when the next mass shooting will take place, we know statistically it's only a few hours or days away. Nathan King, CGTN outside the White House.